welcome to the second prompt of the Ember. Yay! And I have Effie here. She's actually, or he, I can't ever remember if it's a he or she. That's bad, I know. <laughs> She's helping me out today. So, yes, I gotta put Defember Ember 2023 back on here. So, hello, everybody. So she's going to hold some supplies for me. I have things already set here. I have my phone hold this down because the way I have this journal, it just won't stay open. So I kind of get why Barbara likes her soft covered journals because they lay open. And I think that's probably part of the reason I'm using this journal is to get to know it and learn what I like, what kind of journals I like. But anyway, let's get him back to... Let's get the prompt out. I believe it's salvaged birds. <laughs> this was a hard one. It took me a couple hours today to kind of figure out what I wanted to do. Um, so I think I've come to the conclusion. So what I'm going to do is I have already sewn my kind of middle part. And I have these pins. I have a whole lot of these pins I don't know what to do with. It's part of the salvaged um, theme here. So before I put the middle down and I just went and I sewed this already. I got that off of Louisa Heinzel. She did some crazy stitching on one of her videos. Anyway, I thought I would, um, just back the edges here or I could just paint. I didn't, I wanted this to kind of, when I do my mixed media stuff, I kind of go chunky and my bulk, my journals kind of get crocodile so I was trying to keep this as flat as possible so what I thought I'd do is just rip some pages and take my glue stick do it so this kind of goes like that and then I can just cut around the edges later so that's what I'm going to do first how are you guys today are you guys following following along some other creators that are doing Defember Ember? If you are, let me know in the comments. I would love to watch their videos as well. And if you are watching and you are one of those creators on YouTube, um, let me know. I'll go and check your, your channel out for sure. So, and I love supporting artists and giving you guys some love, especially if you're new like me to YouTube. I know it takes a while to get established on YouTube and stuff to get your following, to get, oops, sorry, I keep moving the camera. Maybe I should move it a little bit. Sorry, guys. I'll just move you up. There you go. I'll move Effie over here. Can't really see him, but anyway. Okay, back to. Yes, and I decided to do um, a full page. Working half pages, I guess it kind of depends on the prompt for me. Um, it's hard for me to work small. I think if I this was a main like journal for drawing or writing this would be a good size but I don't think I will work in a size like this going forward but anyway it's good I will it's a challenge anyway so we will continue on guys so I as you can see I'm just trimming these pages and using the bits to fill in the so salvaged birds, so salvaged, when I, I had to look it up in the dictionary, like I mentioned in the other video, salvaged, my initial thoughts were, you know, repurposing, recycling, you know, that kind of thing. But then I looked it up and it kind of re, it said rescue. So I was like, hmm, rescue, let's rescue these birds. So I went into a magazine my neighbor had gifted me this bird magazine she didn't want and I was like mm, I love birds and all but mm, no let me let me go ahead and keep it 
but I'm glad I did because I've actually used some of the pictures in there for some of my collage projects. So, yes, I'm glad I took it. Anyway, so the point is I got some of my bird images from that magazine. Yes, I could have totally drawn some birds if I wanted to, but then I'm a fussy, like most artists I think are perfectionists. That would have taken too much time. And I would have not concentrated on other things that I needed to be concentrating on. And on this page, I decided to leave it because it's pretty. I may add something to it later. You never know, one of the journal prompts might inspire me to use this page. So, there's that. I guess I'm using all of this writing page. I was going to mix it up with some music, but I think this is what happens if you don't have an exact plan, but that's okay. I like this. This will work. In one of my videos, I mentioned we had our friend from Ireland visiting and he asked if there's anything I could he could bring over for me and of course I said the print sticks because we can't well you can get them here on Amazon but they're very sticky and they smell really really good so he brought four over and I'm they're fun I enjoy using them <laughs> so anyway that is the story on the print sticks. I know there's some American ones that probably do just as well, but I thought I would just take, I hate the word take advantage, but utilize, this might be a better word, um, Kenny coming over and grabbing some print sticks from Tesco. Tesco, if you don't know, is like part of the American Walmart, and it's their Walmart in the UK. I don't know, it might be other places too. There we go, and then just a little bit up here. Um, let's see, do I have another scrappy scrap? We could put this up here. Did I? I don't know. It's right here. Okay. I kind of enjoy piecing, um, kind of this piecemeal, um, paging together, but I like to do diamond painting and puzzles too, so that's probably why I don't mind doing this kind of patchwork, I guess you could call it, maybe. Just do that. And it looks pretty neat. So far, hopefully my idea turns out, I'm sure it'll be fine. I think I'm just going to leave that to dry and do one little piece here in the middle. You can um, hear the puppies are snoring. Roscoe is sitting on my chair, so I'm standing, which is okay. There we go. Okay, so this is going to go in the middle, but before that goes in the middle, and I don't poke myself, I want, I should just take these out. I just thought it would be neat. Okay, so for salvage, it's like putting back together, repurposing. 
Um, some people may call it Frankenstein. You like bits and pieces, putting bits and pieces to, together to make one. So with the bird cutouts, I didn't, they were magazine cutouts and I couldn't really, I really wanted to kind of Frankenstein them, like take them. So let me just show you. Like you could have just cut them in half and sewn them together, kind of morbid, but so my idea here is a rescuer, rescuing these birds in their little sanctuary. So that is the goal. So I'm going to grunge up this, the edges here with two different inks. I've got the Ranger Distress Ink, a mowed lawn, and then Versa Magic Turquoise. I love those two colors together. I'm going to push this in my coffee. And Effie's going to have to come out for a minute. Okay, so. Did I? Did, okay, I'm going to use this. Whatever. I think people call them makeup brushes. I didn't know these were makeup brushes as I don't really wear makeup anymore. So, I just call them blending brushes now. <laughs> pretty fun. They do a pretty good job. I'm just going to do these edges. And then I'll bring in some turquoise too. And kind of worked out. I had red th thread on my machine, so red and green, complementary colors. Can't beat that. I didn't want to change the bobbin. I saw this really cool thing. It's a little machine, not very expensive, and you can just wind your bobbins on it. It's just specifically, I think it's probably just a bo bobbin winder. I thought, oh, that's clever, because then you can change your thread colors way faster instead of using your machine. So I may get one of those someday. Do you guys have one of those? If you do a lot of sewing in your artwork, I I would recommend it. Or maybe you guys already have your bobbins already sorted out. some turquoise here. Okay, that works good. And now I'm going to get some darker, darker color here. I kind of like walnut. Let's see. <laughs> don't know. Let's, I gotta test it. No, oh, I don't want that color. I think I want... Let's see. Sorry, guys. I didn't think about it until now. I don't want black set. I want, I think it's called vintage photo or I have all the colory ones. Where? Last one. Here we go. Yeah, it is vintage photo. I kind of like to do this. guys do this? I don't know if it's because I'm too impatient. Maybe. That's probably it. If I was not videoing it, I would be fine. So, the reason I don't want to stop and stop and restart on these videos is I find they download faster. I have the worst, world's slowest internet, by the way. I live out in the country, and so basically we get what we get out in the country. So I'd rather live out in the country with slow internet. Well, I mean, honestly, I would love fast internet, but I wouldn't trade it for the countryside. So anyway, so the point of not stopping and starting these videos now is I find that they load faster. So, all right, I think that's going to work. Bring this back into video shot. Put our scissors down here. Get these out of the way. I won't be able to find anything. Okay, so I'm thinking now I need to distress the edges here. <sighs> okay. Let's get, get this back out again. It's a long cut. Well, man. Okay, there we go. That works.
serves good. All right, so let's think about this before I glue it down. Um, so, yes, so this is my salvaged bird sanctuary, I guess. Right, yep, okay. So I have these pins to represent putting things together or keeping things together, salvaged parts. Like this sanctuary is salvaged. <laughs> together with bits and pieces for these birds. How about that? Um, I know I'll probably, I don't know what I might do with these sharp edges, but I can just cover them with tape or something. I had one here, so let's just go ahead and put these back in. Maybe we'll put this in. No, because then the pointy will be towards when you flip the page. Does that make sense? Okay. There's some heart ones. Probably don't want to do too many. Do I? I'll do three to a page because that's a good number for composition. These are hat pins. They're neat, but I just am really not sure to incorporate it in junk journaling or uh, mixed media. So it's a new one for me. Has anybody ever seen anything else with hat pins? Okay, I think we'll just keep that there. All right, so. Aha, uh -huh. so since we're talking about salvaged, we could salvage this with some medical tape, right? I love using this stuff. It's cheaper than washi tape, and you can paint on it anything you want. If I can find the end. Sorry if the puppy snores are bothering you guys. All right, let's see if we can't. here, make them less pointy, dangerous for, okay, I think that'll work. What do you guys think? Alright, I may keep this out, I may be a good effect, I may change my mind on a few things. Okay, so we've got this, let's glue this down, let's commit commit to that. I do have, what did I do? I guess I'll just use my glitter glue. And I have this rubber band thing I need to start using so I don't lose the pin for my glue. And then I poke myself, so anyway. <laughs> oh, us artists, we do figure it out eventually, don't we? Okay. if these edges come up a little bit, give it a little bit of a... Just go like this for a minute. Okay, yeah. All right. We can stick this here. Stick this here for an anchor. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe should have worked in the middle of the book first. Okay, all right, so now put the pin back. 
here are my next dots. So I have my birds that I cut out. And these could be on, I could make them little nests or something. Uh -huh. What happened here? Okay, no, nothing happened. I thought that was, never mind. <laughs> okay, we'll do the bigger birds first. Because this is the birdie sanctuary. And this one's happy, little hummingbird. I have six of them, so there's four, five. Aha. Uh -huh. And our sixth one. Whoops, he is flying upside down. So they're happy. Happy to be rescued. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. I'm still missing one. Missing a birdie. Mm, darn. Okay, we'll find it. We'll find it. Or maybe not. Okay, so then my thoughts are... I think he's going to have these little tags that I've had for, I don't know, probably over 14 years in my stash. So these, you know how parts come with uh, part numbers because they're salvaged? So they're, these are these part numbers. So they're gonna be part, they're gonna have part numbers, but instead of part numbers, I put Bible verses. So these Bible verses represent protection, like prayers to say or verses to say if you're fearful or you want protection. And since we're rescuing and salvaging these birds, I thought I would attach their, their numbers or their Bible verses to themselves. So that is where that's going. I really wish I could find my other birdie. Uh, that one, I think, I really wanted to kind of glue the strings on them, but that's going to be pretty fiddly. Maybe I didn't. Wait. Sorry, let me um, clean up this really quick. Guys, sorry. Aha, here he is. And I have one other tag somewhere. I should have had Effie look after these. Effie wouldn't have, oh, here it is. Effie wouldn't have lost them. Okay. So put those there and then Effie is holding some other bits and bobs, like strings and stuff. I did get some red thread to kind of balance the green, but I thought I'd come in here first you know, the lovely bits that they say to keep, to make it part of their little nests. So, there could be some lace, some doily or something. But I'm wondering, should I darken up the edges of the birdies first? I'm doing it. All right. Let's be mindful now not to lose our birdies. So we'll put them over here. Why don't we just do one page at a time, side at a time. So let's try just so when they're down on the paper, they're not too, they're not, um, What's the word I'm looking for? Or I could just draw around them. I don't know. I wanted them to pop, I guess. Actually, that's not working out too well. No, that even makes much of a difference. Yeah, a little bit. I'm gonna continue. All right. Let's do one bird at a time, shall we? Something for their little nests. 
down here. I guess not all of them are going to have nests. This one will have a nest because this bird is sitting. I know Barbara said to pull from the middle or something. She has a trick. But I just goofed it up because there it is. I'll just continue. I am going to have a fun mess to clean up. That's the best part, isn't it? It's not really. I don't know. Sometimes I think that's where you find some stuff that you forgot about. Let me just cut some of that and bring it apart. And we can put some lace like that. Okay, I'm gonna do fabric tack. And just glue it all together in a bunch. Saved from salvaged parts. There we go. I don't know that I'm going to, obviously, I think that one's okay. I'll just glue him down. And this one has Psalm 91. I'm giving up on the edges. I think I will not do that and torture you guys. So we'll just. I can do it later off camera and make a pop, but. Goodness. This one is third book of John, one verse one, or chapter one, verse two. Okay, we have another bird that over here that is sitting. Let's put our so we'll create a little nest for this guy. We'll do a nest here. Just anything, really. Another piece of lace. And some string. Okay, so if you haven't figured out by now, I am a messy crafter. I can appreciate Barbara and Louisa. They are so neat and organized, but I just am not. That just not me, but I appreciate their... Their organization. So I cook the same way. I'm a messy cook too. All right, so let's kind of layer the nest a little bit like that. Just gonna put some glue.
right, which verse does he get? He gets Deuteronomy 28, verse 6. And this little guy doesn't need a nest. He is happy, happy, happy. And he gets Psalm 84, verse 11. We got one more birdie that I lost again. Hmm. Or we don't have to put him on there. Ah, no. Where did birdie go? Okay, time to put these back in here. Maybe we'll find them. Aha, uh -huh, I see him. All right, here he is. Where is he going to go? I think he is going to go right here. All right, guys. Hopefully I haven't tortured you enough. What do you think of my interpretation of this prompt? Is it too far out? Or... I don't know. I would love to know. Honest answers. And this one gets Psalm 4, verse 8. And I do have... is on the branch there we go um so i did stamp out rescue i wasn't sure which way this piece was gonna go Do we want it going across or down um maybe it just goes fine there anyway i'm loving it which is amazing for me to like it there we go, guys. That is prompt number two, salvaged birds. Thank you, Effie. And let me put the, I was going to put the, tap, the cat back on here, give you guys a close-up. I meant to um, actually be in closer for you guys. Try to remember to do that for next video. And you can see it better. And I'll take pictures for the end of the video. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I hope to see you in the next video. You guys have a lovely day. Talk to you again. Bye.